Red Chair Productions presents Hello class, today we will be discussing the endosymbiotic theory. Endosymbiosis describes the evolution of mitochondrion and chloroplasts. This theory says that certain organelles originated as free-living bacteria that were taken inside another cell in the process of phagocytosis, which you learned about before. It was first articulated by a Russian botanist in 1905, which was a very, very, very long time ago which means this process is very, very, very important to evolution. It all started four billion years ago on a planet someday known as Earth. This young Earth had an atmosphere containing carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and trace amounts of other interesting gases. By some unknown mechanism, a strike of life appeared on Earth. As this life evolved, these organisms took in carbon dioxide and produced oxygen, which accumulated over millions of years. The first forms of life consisted of cells that were anaerobic and consumed other organic material for energy. As time passed, various specialized traits emerged such as the ability to perform aerobic respiration and photosynthesis. Cells developed the ability to use sunlight as an energy source. The oxygen they produced helped drive respiration in the ancestors of modern mitochondria. This oxygen proved to be toxic to the Earth's anaerobic inhabitants. According to endosymbiotic theory, when an anaerobic cell went hunting for food and consumed a cell capable of respiration, it was unable to successfully hydrolyze the prey for energy. It was mutually beneficial for both of these cells to thrive as a single organism, giving them an advantage over others in an oxygen-rich environment. Phagocytosis occurred yet again between some of the new eukaryotes and the photosynthetic prokaryote, creating a new branch of photosynthetic eukaryotes. These newly formed eukaryotic organisms lived on and reproduced many times. Eventually, the component prokaryotic organisms lost the ability to live independently of each other while continuing to evolve as one. Mitochondria and chloroplast are surrounded by two membranes. The inner membrane evolved from the plasma membrane of the engulfed prokaryote, while the outer membrane is derived from the host cell. They produce their own energy in the form of protein and enzymes required for their individual function. Both organelles reproduce separately from the cell by pinching in half. Both mitochondria and chloroplasts contain ribosomes slightly smaller than those located in cytosomes. Mitochondria and chloroplasts contain their own circular DNA, similar to that of ancestral bacteria.
single cell can transform the world and rewrite all the rules. The last one. Yeah. Okay, let's Action. see what we got. Action. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he read my mind. <laughs> <laughs>